the moon is one of the most studied celestial objects outside of Earth. In 1969, American astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon, marking a turning point in humanity in which space agencies promised to return. As mentioned by SpaceX, only 24 humans have been to the moon in history, noting that no one has been back since 1972. SpaceX have announced that they plan to send their Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket to the moon, noting that Starship will have the ability to carry in excess of 100 metric tons to Earth's orbit. Interestingly, although the moon has been studied extensively, there's still some questions that remain unanswered. For example, Noah Petro, a research scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, revealed that the fundamental question of how the moon formed, and how that relates to the Earth is really the most important of the unknowns. Some of the most interesting mysteries come in the form of strange photographs that have been taken of our moon, with one interesting one being taken by a telescope user. It's reported that the photographs were taken with a Celestron Travelscope 70 portable telescope, with a HD Pro C920 webcam. The person who observed the object said that it appeared to fly behind the moon, and that they couldn't explain what it was. They shared the images and they were picked up by websites that study the unknown. Users who saw the photographs then put forward their suggestions in order to explain what the objects could have belonged to. One user said the following, I've seen a few people suggest that the object could be a smudge on the camera, but then you can see in the photos it moving across the moon, and even behind it, and I'm pretty sure that smudges don't fly behind the moon. End quote. Some were quick to point out that it's very rare to capture objects moving behind the moon, and note that the majority of strange objects seen above the moon can be seen in front of it, causing some to say that the perspective is off, and that the objects are actually closer than they look. Another amateur astronomer said they've seen strange objects fly close to our moon, but noted that they can only be seen with the aid of a telescope. Others went down the route of suggesting that it could be a mysterious flying object, or perhaps a top-secret aircraft that was being tested by the military. For years now, amateur researchers have long speculated that mysterious crafts have been interested in our moon, and point to various eyewitness testimonies of former NASA workers and astronauts, who have detailed seeing mysterious objects on the moon and have gone on to tell stories of how the United States is in contact with these mysterious objects. Edgar Mitchell was one of these individuals who believed that we were in contact with advanced beings. He said the following, White Sands was a testing ground for atomic weapons, and that's what the extraterrestrials were interested in. They wanted to know about our military capabilities. My own experience talking to people has made it clear that ETs have been attempting to keep us from going to war, and that they've helped to create peace on Earth. End quote. Although NASA has said that these quotes are baseless, and that there's no evidence that humans are in contact with extraterrestrials, it's these quotes that have caused some to question whether these strange objects actually belong to something unknown. Unfortunately, it's tough to come to a conclusive answer for what these objects are, and all we can do right now is speculate. Another mystery of our moon is that of its craters. Our moon features a gigantic crater. This hole has been on our moon for billions of years, since an unknown object hit the dark side of the moon. We have measured this crater to reach 1,550 miles in width, and eight miles in depth, and so have dubbed it one of the largest craters within our solar system. The presumed explanation for decades was simply that this crater was formed when contact was made between the moon and a rapidly paced meteor. If this had been the case, then there would be pieces from inside the moon on the surface, possibly available to examine. 
some new insight was provided in January 2019, when the U-2 rover was sent to the moon from China. It reached the bottom of this mysterious crater and was able to provide scientists with some more details. Minute traces of minerals were recorded by the U-2, which appear to have come from within the moon's mantle. In a turn of events, new data came to light within August of 2019, from a study published within Geophysical Research Letters. After an analysis was conducted upon the materials found at the bottom of the crater, it revealed evidence suggesting that the crater was composed entirely of dust, with no mantle. The crust is the outer layer, with the mantle coming just underneath it, similar to Earth. This would imply that an object collided with the moon with enough force to open a colossal crater, but not enough force to release any of the mantle onto the surface of the moon. Co-author of the study, Ho Zhang, a planetary scientist working at the China University of Geosciences, explained how the team had anticipated finding the mantle materials at this landing site. He goes on to explain that the lack of mantle organisms rules out the possibility that a meteor travelling with high velocity had caused this crater, eliminating an assumption that we had been acting upon for decades. This study employed the use of spectroscopy, in order to clarify and identify the minerals that had been found within the lunar soil. This process observes how each grain is reflected within both visible and near-infrared light. This study was carried out using the equipment U2 was already armed with, performing these reflection tests on six different areas of soil, ranging up to approximately 175 feet away from the landing site. An already established database allowed each mineral to be identified based upon size, reflectance and degradation, which often occurs as a result of solar wind. Within every sample, it was evident that the primary mineral in the moon's surface is plagioclase. We know this is common in the crust of Earth and the moon, but that it isn't likely to be found within the mantle. This mineral composition supports the meteor theory, but then the unanswered question remains as to what created this crater. If it were a meteor, then why aren't there chunks of mantle all over the surface? So what do you make of these moon discoveries and mysteries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.